This is the video response to Pappy Rabbit 08's question about the mitral stenosis example from my heart murmur lecture in which he or she thought the murmur sounded systolic. The comment didn't specify which of the two mitral stenosis examples uh, was being referred to, so I'll include commentary for both. I'm going to show the phonocardiograms for these murmurs, which are essentially a visual representation of the audio waveforms. Since commonly used software is not able to separate out a single track into the various harmonics and so forth, it may not be immediately apparent what you're looking at if you haven't seen these before, so I'll try to label everything and keep it simple. Here is the first mitral stenosis example taken from uh, 30 minutes 40 seconds from part one. Uh, take a listen. Here is the phonocardiogram. And here are labels for everything. In this example, the tricky part is the fact that there is an extra sound thrown in right at the beginning of diastole, which triggers the onset of the murmur. As you can see, this extra sound is an opening snap, with, which is literally the result of a stiff mitral valve snapping open. and take and listen as it is slowed down to one half speed. Here is the second mitral stenosis example, which is actually example number five from the question section, located at one minute 35 seconds on part three of the lecture. Uh, take a listen. Here is the phonocardiogram. And here are labels for everything. The difficult aspect of this example is that for whatever reason, the murmur doesn't last for the entirety of diastole. We can still tell it's occurring during diastole, however, based on its relationship to S1 and S2, and the fact we know which is S1 and S2 because the S1 to S2 duration is always shorter than the S2 to S1 duration. And here it is slowed down to one half speed. So I hope that helps convince you that both mitral stenosis examples are in fact mitral stenosis. The mitral stenosis murmur is one of the more difficult findings in cardiac auscultation to identify as a consequence of it being low pitch, usually soft, often accompanied by extra sounds like an opening snap, and the fact that it's a fairly uncommon finding and thus we have relatively little opportunity to practice listening for it.